Consistent self-improvement, everybody. You are now listening to American Gypsy Podcast. I am your host, Classic, and I'm here with my co-host. Gypsy, and today we have Tom Palladino. He is a scalar energy researcher with over 25 years of experience developing healing techniques designed to help people all over the world to recover from pathogenic infections and experience true health and wellness. Thank you for being here, Tom. Tom, it's a pleasure having you. Thank you for the invite. Thank you. So to get straight into it, what is scalar energy? It's very simple. It's sunlight, starlight. Everybody in the world is a scalar energy expert. I've worked with instruments that capture that type of energy. It's not electricity. Uh, some people call that torsion energy or chi or prana, zero point energy. Mm. So I work with not electrical instruments. I work with scalar instruments. And where does scalar energy come from? The sun, the stars. It's the life force of the universe. Okay. And how do you harness that energy? Uh, and you know, that's... Yeah, that's the key. The, the, the key is to be able to harness this energy by way of instrumentation. I have instruments that I've developed and we can, if you will, control scalar energy. Um, it's, it's fascinating what these instruments can do. It's, it's a new and upcoming technology, scalar technology. And this is what I consider free energy. It's the energy from the stars. So. I am working with a new technology, scalar technology. It's not electricity. I have instruments that can control that energy. And this is the advent of this new technology that's going to change the world, free energy for mankind. What inspired you to get into um, scalar energy and things like that? <clears throat> Nikola Tesla was a great impulse to me. Uh, Tesla was an incredible mind, incredible inventor. And I realized that he was working with Tesla energy, what we call scalar energy today. Um, and he really gave me again, the impulse to, to move forward that this was a valid science. In my estimation, he was the first scientist to harness control scalar energy. So um, if you look at his incredible career and what he's done for mankind, now it's time to take note of his advancements and to, to move forward. And one, one of his incredible discoveries was this energy. He called it radiant energy. Today, it's called scalar energy. It's, it's again, it's a new technology that's going to change everything. Can you, okay, go ahead. Well, I was gonna ask, how does it, how does it work? Um, the, these are engineered instruments in which I'm able to actually capture sunlight or starlight. That's not difficult because th this energy is everywhere. Sunlight, starlight, it, 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 uh, is, there's a sea of energy, so to speak. The universe is awash with scalar energy. And the key point here now is to develop instruments that can control it, first of all, and then send it out or broadcast it or deliver that energy. And we've been able to do that. I've, I've been graced with the fact that I've worked with a, an engineering family and uh, they gave me the know-how how to do this. So I guess for an example, I mean, it's just asking, is it something similar to, like you say, and we have Buddhist monks that are able to emit energy from their hands and things like that. Yes. This, this is what we're, identical. we're talking about. Identical. People with healing hands have scalar energy hands. Right. So, you know, some people can heal with their hands. Some people can heal mentally or through prayer. All of that is scalar energy. So you see what we've tapped into now. We've tapped into that life force energy. Scalar energy, it's non-physical, it's information. I really believe it's a divine energy. And once we find our way into that paradigm, we can do so many things. It, it has such incredible, really unlimited potential. Can you explain a little bit your process? Because I know you don't, you don't have to physically be there, right? Right, right. I, I explain this in, in this sense. People will email me a photograph. This is my photograph. Why do people email me a photograph? A photograph has light. It's my light. It's my signature. So my photograph is a scalar light signature. And I place my photograph inside the instrument. 
So this is the way we make a connection with a person's energy field or the quantum field. And there are no in-person sessions. Everything is done by way of photographs of people. And that's what I work with, photographs of people. Well, in so doing, I'm able to access a person's quantum field, no matter where they are in the world. Scalar energy will connect with a person's energy or their soul or their spirit, so to speak. And this is, to me, this is the new way of healing in the future, that you don't need a physical manifestation. Instead, you're working with information. You're working in that, in that zone, in that dimension where you're transcending time and space and you're just working with consciousness or information. Let's call it information. So I have an information instrument that can send information, scalar information to anybody in the world by way of their photograph. How long does it take to, and what types of things can you heal with scalar light? And uh, you know, so some of the benefits that we've recognized over the years is scalar energy is able to control molecular forms. In other words, scalar energy will create a molecular bond or will negate, break down a molecular bond. So in practice, we use a scalar energy instrument to create, say, the molecular bonds of a, of a vitamin or an antioxidant or amino acid, nutrients. We can actually create at the molecular level nutrients simply by sending intelligence into the quantum body and telling the quantum body to create a vitamin. I can actually take, for instance, a photograph like this. This is vitamin E. And I can actually place that photograph inside an instrument, scalar energy instrument. And the instrument then would duplicate that molecular pattern on vitamin E and send it into a person, send it into their quantum field. So by taking a photograph of a nutrient, I can download that information into a person, into their quantum field. So this instrument has been shown to create molecular forms of nutrients. Well, that's very beneficial to people because people need nutrition. 24 hours a day, they need nutrition. So that's one of the functions that we've perfected with this instrument. There's another function, we're able to break down the molecular code, the molecular bonds of say a virus or a bacterium. So a scalar energy instrument can, can recognize the, the molecular bonds that hold together a pathogen or a toxin and then negate or release those molecular bonds. Well, the upshot is that a virus or a bacterium falls apart or they, that will transmute by negating the molecular bonds. And if you can negate the molecular bonds, an infectious agent or a toxin fall apart. They disassemble into smaller, harmless forms, physical forms. So this is, these are some of the functions that we've described and that we've perfected over the years with the scalar energy instrument. Imagine being able to create any nutrient that you want or disassemble any pathogen, any germ that you want. That's, that's, some, that's, some, that's quite promising. And those are some of the functions that we've been able to perfect. How does this interrupt uh, modern day medicine? Uh, it's gonna change modern day medicine. It's gonna change because it's so superior. See, when you're working with fundamental energy, that's what scalar energy is, it's fundamental. You can control nature. And that's what my instruments allow me to do. This primal force allows me to control nature. We can control a nutrient. We can control a pathogen, a microbe. How will this impact the world? Well, it, it really is a function of how quickly embrace, people embrace this. But this new technology, I predict, will change the way we live eventually. When? I don't know. It really, it really depends upon people accepting this energy. It's a gift from God. You mentioned um, starlight, um, sunlight and starlight. Yes. For, f explain that to me a little bit, like yeah. one of the differences between, you know, you know more of starlight. Well, and, one know. of the theories uh, and that's been advanced today that the sun, the stars have some type of thermonuclear reaction. You know, they, some, something has to happen causing the sun to burn or give off heat. And that's an electromagnetic explanation. And that's really poor logic. What drives the sun, what gives power to the sun or the stars is scalar energy. 
So we do not have thermonuclear explosions or thermonuclear fission or fusion inside the sun. What we have is a scalar energy environment. It is scalar energy that powers all the stars. Why? It's a perpetual energy. It never wears out. There's no entropy. It never dies. There's no entropy. It never experiences entropy. And with that in mind, a scalar energy star is a perpetual star. So what do I propose? That we mimic, we copy the stars, the stars. And in so doing, then we can create miniature stars. And that's going to be our power plane in the future. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. What if, so what about as far as with the other planets? Do they emit any type of... I think they're neutral. I think they're inert. In other words, all energies initiates from the center of the star. And then, if you will, the planets will absorb, will, will incorporate that energy. But if you want to look at the powerhouse, the storehouse, so to speak, of energy, it's the stars. All energy initiates from the center of the star. So in your experience, while researching or treating uh, people with scalar light, um, can you give us an example of um, some things you discovered? Yeah, yeah. Um, my, my predecessor was a man by the name of Hieronymus. Many times when he would have his instruments on, he would notice in the general vicinity that it would be clement weather, where there could be a tornado or there could be harsh weather all around. But within that atmosphere that a scalar energy instrument was operating, it sort of created a canopy that would, if you will, control the weather or at least reduce any severe weather outbreak. Many times when I've had my instrument on during a thunderstorm, <clears throat> my instrument would develop a small spark, a small lightning bolt. So my instrument, a scalar energy instrument, is communicating with the scalar energy lightning bolt. So it very much factors into to the weather. So it, it's always been my consideration that the driving force of all weather phenomenon, all meteorological phenomenon is scalar energy. And I've experienced that and my predecessor has experienced that. Do you think that even this energy as far as connected to some of the, um, almost like the, the pyramid energy that they talk yeah. about and things yeah. like that. Yeah, many, many pyramids are <clears throat> capacitors for scalar energy. <clears throat> you know, if, if you look inside many pyramids, you'll see that biological decay is attenuated or it, it slows down. And one of the reasons why the pyramids don't experience that if, if you're some type of a, a biological matter, it will not decay so quickly in a pyramid because a pyramid has a great deal of scalar energy and scalar energy slows down chemical decomposition. So that's one of the telltale signs that many pyramids control or harness scalar energy because it's a different environment inside those pyramids. And, uh, and as a consequence, um, you'll see uh, uh, mummification, you'll see the slowing down of the chemical decomposition inside a pyramid. So when you're, um, say you get a picture of a person and do you treat, usually is it someone that has a specific ailment of some sort and how long does it take and that does that depend on the person or what? But you're yeah. The healing depends upon people. It, and as a new science, we really don't have a clear roadmap yet as to why some people heal uh, at an accelerated rate compared to others. Um, what I've done with these instruments, I've standardized the technique. And I'll explain, for instance, if I wanted to destroy a pathogen, this is a photograph of the herpes virus. I would actually take this photograph of the herpes virus and place it inside the instrument. So the instrument works upon photographic recognition. A scalar energy instrument will look at the herpes virus by way of a photograph and then send that energy into my body. And if I have the herpes virus in my, in my body, 
in my quantum body, it would be destroyed. So this is how these instruments work. A scalar energy instrument will perform the scientific function that you ask of it. If I ask this instrument to scan, to interpret the herpes virus, it will do so, and then send the energy into me and destroy the herpes virus. So the technique that I've perfected, it's very straightforward. I take photographs of microbes, the herpes virus. I place it inside the instrument. And then this instrument will actually seek out, identify, and destroy the herpes virus. It's that straightforward. And why is it so simple? Because when you're working with energy, you have control over nature. So my scalar energy instruments allows me to have control over the herpes virus. I can identify the herpes virus and destroy it. So, it's basically helping the body heal itself, if I'm yes. understanding correctly. Yes, so are we correct. causing the disease to ourselves and what are people doing to cause? Yeah, yeah. well, there's many, there's many factors to disease. And you're right, many diseases we bring on ourselves. Um, I, I offer that example as the herpes virus for two reasons. The herpes virus is actually a universal virus. Now, most, most adults in the world have herpes one, which is considered oral herpes. And secondly, according to traditional logic, traditional medicine, the herpes virus cannot be cured, it cannot be eradicated. Well, in the quantum realm, I eradicate it every day. So these are the advantages that we see now. By way of light, energy, intelligence, we can eradicate the herpes virus. Now, this obviously is not Western medicine. I, I've never, in, I've never for one day in my life practiced Western medicine. It's a new science that I'm practicing. It's an intelligence that I work with. So, what is your, what are your goals with um, the scalar light? technology. Well, one of my goals is to be able to treat a billion people a year by way of a photograph. I want the world to send us photographs. We offer free sessions on our website. And I want the world to get involved and just start sending us photographs. Let's treat the world. This is the easy way to bring healing, quantum healing to the world by way of a person's photograph. This is a new science. And this, this is not Newtonian physics. This is not Western science. This is not Western medicine. So I first have to introduce this new science to mankind, educate people. They have to become acquainted with this. And after that, then people will start sending us photographs. And then the people will speak. We have to rely upon the testimony of people. We have to rely upon the firsthand experience of people. This is a new science. There is no college textbook. So when people send us their photograph, we're going to treat them and then let the people speak and let the people share their experience far and wide. And let's see how this develops. Is there a big um, community of people that is kind of involved with helping to spread this? Yeah, and we, we have uh, volunteers around the world. Um, Thank you for this podcast. This helps get the word out. I've conducted many podcasts now. Thank you. We have Christian missionaries around the world, social activists around the world. And to date, we've already worked with probably 200 million people around the world by way of their photograph. Many times we'll receive a collage like this of people. Today, I received at least three, four, 5,000 photographs today. Wow. People around the world, we have a computer uploader. This is not done manually. Mm -hmm. So people around the world, sometimes they're sending me group photographs. And uh, for instance, in my laboratory today, I worked with, I'm sure, at least half a million people by way of their photograph. Uh -huh. So it, it really, it's very promising where we're going. We've already worked with 200 million people around the world. And it's, it's growing, it will grow, this will grow exponentially in the next five years. And uh, my goal is to be the, um, the quantum healing uh, apostolate, the quantum healing company for the world. I wanna treat a billion people a year. So 
even with those kind of numbers, we know that's a, definitely a lot of people. Yeah. What, how do you visualize, you know, the, the timeline? Do you see that this could be <clears throat> next 10 years, five years? Do you see yeah. it kind of yeah. teaching yeah. this and teaching yeah. others to help you so that you can, you know? I, I would say within the next five to six years, it should really catch on because people now are aware of testing. They at least have some type of background. So the next five to six years, it should really um, show exponential growth. And with that exponential growth, then people will get involved. This is all about people. This is a grassroots move. And maybe we only have a, a, you know, a few hundred thousand people who really understand it now. Hopefully we'll have millions of people that understand it. And then billions. And you know, it, it should be an exponential curve. That's what I anticipate. Um, and once people then understand that there's another energy spectrum, then people will clamor for this, they'll demand it. And then we introduce this as a new way of living. And we, we cannot, our existing paradigm, our existing model, the way we're doing things is not working. The model, the paradigm, or the world that we see it today needs an improvement. There's many broken systems and it's just not working. Scalar energy is a new start. It's, it, scalar energy will be solutions to many problems that up until this point have remained unsolved. So we're going to solve problems. We're not gonna complain, we're going to solve our problems. Have any other questions? Um. No. <laughs> I've kind of ran out of questions myself. <laughs> we offer 15 days of free sessions. What I encourage people to do, you're going to email us your photograph and your family. Include your pets. Okay. Our website is scalarlight.com. How do we prove this? By giving away free sessions. Anybody in the world can upload their photograph. We'll treat you for free for 15 days. Visit our website, scalarlight.com. Anybody in the world will treat you for free. All we ask is just a headshot, just a butt shot, okay? And after 15 days, you probably will feel better. You will feel something. And that's what we're trying to establish. This new science, it's never been done before. I don't expect you to, to understand it because it's, it's never been approached. There is no university classroom for this. So try the free trial. Experience it. Read our website. This is all groundbreaking research. I don't think anybody in the world has this type of instrument that I'm working with. Since, with that in mind, my, my approach is unique. I'm the only one in the world doing this. Scalarlight.com. Visit the website. Anybody in the world can upload their photograph and work with you for free. No questions asked. Well, we appreciate you giving us this powerful information. And we also like to thank our listeners and would like to let you know that all of the links will be um, in the description below and you'll be able to just click on it and take, or it'll take you to his information and to our information as well. And for the podcast, you can find us at americangypsy.com and you can find consistent self-improvement merch at luamli.com. And I have some music that you can check out under Classic Carpenter, K-L-A-C-C-I-K-C-A-R-P-E-N-T-A. -E and that's some cello music and some instrumental stuff. We also do American Gypsy soundtracks for some of the YouTube channels that we put out. So um, feel free to put um, give it a listen. Thank you again to our listeners. Tom, thank you again for sharing the knowledge about um, scalar energy with us. Um, I've really learned a lot today. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again to everyone. Consistent self-improvement to everyone and good night. Peace. Peace.